What is up guys, my name is Sam, and today we're gonna be talking about how to build mountain bike trails. So I've decided to make this series based on building beginner mountain bike trails. Um, it's going to be tips, and tricks, and how to. It's also gonna explain how you don't need a whole lot of time or a whole lot of tools or money to build awesome trails. So today, the first episode of mountain bike trail building for beginners is going to be cutting a trail and finding an area to build a trail. I am currently on a log road behind my house. I am fortunate enough to have some woods behind my house where I can build trails and it's great. It's allowed me to hone my skills and become a better trail builder and that's something I very, very much so enjoy. So I'm currently working on a really cool windy trail, like a flow trail with some tech. It's just going to be an ultimate trail. I didn't want to use that because it's already kind of has a direction. Um, it, the, most of it's cleared and it's almost um, cut, ready to be built. Uh, so the way I do trails is I do it in multiple phases. I have my cutting phase where I go through with a rake and I clear my area to ride through. And that's really what we're going to be working on today. There's going to be other videos dedicated to the building aspect of it and then there's going to be even more videos working on features and just eventually finishing a trail and maintaining a trail. We might as well get started with cutting this trail that I'm going to use to climb out of my trail system. Um, I'm going to climb out of the trail system through my yard back to the trailhead so I can just do round loops and get a pretty good workout. So I'm just walking through here right off the log road and I'm seeing a pretty good line up to my yard, which is what I'm going to want to ride up. I'm not going to have to do too much trail cutting, probably a hundred feet or so. So this won't take very long and it'll be a great way to show you how you could quickly cut a trail and probably in the same day build it fully. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you find that one spot you were looking for is you're going to see if you have a straight path or depending on how the, what the trail you want to build, you want to do a flowy trail, you can go around through the trees, you won't really have to cut too much stuff down. But if you have a dedicated path and you want to be going straight, for some reason like a run up or I don't really know what else you'd be doing, like a slalom track, I guess I wouldn't be going straight but if you wanted to have something side by side. You want to make sure you don't have anything in the way. And the biggest thing is you want to avoid cutting trees down because we're mountain bikers and nature is our playground and avoiding cutting any of that down is great. So I guess we're just going to get started walking up through clearing the sticks as I find them. And uh, after I get these preliminary sticks out of the way I will start going through with my rake. So it looks like we've ran into our first downed tree. And where I live in New York, it's quite wet, and especially these woods, so a lot of trees fall and then just rot. This one looks like it's quite waterlogged, and I'm not sure how rotted it is. I'm sure it's pretty rotted. And so, depending on the state of the tree, and it doesn't look too heavy, so I'll probably just pick it up. But depending on the state of the tree, you could either build on it, around it, or just move it. Oh, yeah. This would be good jump wood, too. I'm going to move this right here. Hopefully not forget about it. Yeah. All right, so the first 20 feet or so, maybe 50, I don't really know. Um, of the trail is basically cleared from bigger sticks that are going to cause issues. Um, and maybe even some trees. But now, we want to take a rake. It's the only tool you really need for this right now. A rake. Depending on your terrain, you might need a shovel. And I think most people have shovels and rakes if they're riding mountain bikes or building mountain bikes, uh, trails. But you never know. So, I'm just going to use a rake and I'm going to roughly clear a trail, right? I may change my mind once I get up there because there's a tree in the middle and then I either go on either side. The left looks 
easier, but I'm not sure if it's steeper or whatever. And for a climb, I guess I want it a little bit steep so I get a little fitness out of it. But I'll decide when I get there. So I'm just going to start here. And I'm going to just go all the way up and then we can come back through and we'll recap on what you want to do. So as you probably can tell, you're going to want a wider tooth rake. The rake I'm currently using isn't very wide uh, in the teeth. So leaves and loamy dirt get very caught up in the teeth and makes raking a lot more work. As you can see, I'm digging more of a wide single track and that's because this is going to be the access road. So if somebody or something doesn't want to go down the trails, this is going to be the perfect way to get it down. If you want it to be wider, just rake wider strokes. Um, it's pretty simple, but uh, I'm just going to continue going up through. All right, guys, so I did actually end up finishing the trails, but um, it got really dark um, because five o'clock in New York means it's dark in the winter. Um, so it's kind of hard to see, but I finished it. I'm going to have to do some grooming up there because there's some thorns I have to clear up before I smash my legs with it. Um, but the trails look pretty good. I really don't know if you can see me currently, um, but Thank you guys for watching. Uh, a trail like this does not need to really be maintained or built anymore. Uh, maybe in the fall, I should rake it off a little bit, make sure leaves don't get in here again. Or I might let them if I wanna get it loamy and then do something different this year, next year. So this trail is perfect for what it is. It's wide and pretty straight, not too steep, and it does what I need it to. I'm climb back up and get to the trailhead again. It also will allow me to put bring gear down here a lot easier with having to walk over jumps and everything. And it's going to be a lot more fun and a lot more efficient. If you guys have any questions about me finding and cutting trails out of just the woods with a rake, uh, leave it in the comments or you could send them to my Instagram, which is in the description. I am Sam Bags, and I really hope you guys share this with a friend and leave a comment to help me get this video out there uh, to more people that need help like I did when I was younger. I didn't really know how to build trails and I just kind of learned from my friends and from doing. This is my new climb trail and uh, thank you guys for watching. Peace.